I'm Patrick Lancaster, and right now we have a very special report coming to you from the front line. Right now we are between the Zaporozhye front and uh, the Ugladar uh, front. We are in Russian-controlled territory, and in fact, this tank right behind me is a Ukrainian tank from the Azov Battalion. But we are with uh, uh, Kaskad, which is a part of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, um, and these uh, Russian soldiers are getting ready to use this former Ukrainian tank that was captured last year to fire against uh, Ukrainian forces here on the front line. Um, we're here with a whole group of uh, Russian forces tanks. We're not sure if we're going to see this one fire or other ones firing, but right now we're going to see them uh, start to prepare this tank for battle and we're going to talk to the commander and see what the real situation is here on the ground on the front line where the front mainstream media won't go so let's take a closer look я командир танка позывной мой сара какая танка это это танк Т-64 Булат, отобранный в полка Азов на Азовстале. И как давно у вас это? Этот танк уже больше года находится у нас и выполняет боевые задачи. И, и э, э, что вы будете делать сейчас? Сейчас мы сидим на боевом дежурстве, ждем выполнения боевых команд. Все, спасибо. Как вы знаете украинский Леозов танка? Ну, во-первых, Т-64 Булат находится на вооружении только в Украине. Во-вторых, здесь надписи. Он, походу, и шел только на экспорт. Либо им передала какая-то страна другая. Во-вторых... А как э, латинский, да? Ну да, какой-то неизвестный язык. Угу. Во-вторых... Пиксель украинский. Ага, в русский никак это, да? Нет, в России совсем другой раскраска. И в третьих он сзади у них написано, что это был э, танк полка Азов. Вот здесь, если вы присмотритесь. Ага, Азов, да? Да. Ага, понял. So right here we see the automatic uh, launcher, uh, our loader, you could say. The shells are underneath, and we see where it comes up and loads. Может сказать, что это Каскад? Каскад это боевое подразделение, которому я считаю нет равных против э, с, украинских солдат. Вообще нет равных. Ага. И, но, как я понимаю, это не частные армии, да? Нет. Или что это именно? Это <coughs> подразделение, которое собрано с множество организаций МВД в, од, в, одну, в одну организацию, которая выполняет э, чисто боевые задачи. Ага, как э, э, внутренний э, э, министр внутренней сделки, да? Да, да, да. да, да. Ага. Понял. Можно сказать, вы откуда? Я сам местный. Местный. Из Донецка. Донец, да? Ага. И почему вы в Арбат? Ну, как бы, 10 лет моей жизни я отдал за то, чтобы мой поселок не страдал, мои дети, жена, мать. Возле uh, аэропорта, да? Да. Uh -huh. Моя жена, поселок тоже октябрьский. Не, я не с октябрьского, ну, uh -huh. там, где 
на данный момент мой поселок сейчас очень сильно обстреливается. А, и, ну, как бы я пошел еще с 2014 -го года и хочу сказать, пусть лучше украинские войска слаживают оружие и сдаются в плен. Иначе выхода у них нет, как у них будет только смерть. И что нужно за война закончить? Что нужно? Да. Нужно идти вперед. Вы э, слышали, недавно Крымский мост был взрывен. Да, там погибло два человека. Я считаю, это подлый поступок со стороны украинских военных, потому как ну, на нем находятся гражданские люди. Это не военный объект. Это всего лишь мост, mm -hmm. который соединяет Крым и Россию. Mm -hmm. Ну вот вообще это как-то может повлиять на Нет, ход боевых это действий? Не, на, не повлияет ни на снабжение, ни на дух наш, ни на что не повлияет. Мы как выполняли, выполняли боевые задачи, так и будем их выполнять. Mm -hmm. Ну все, спасибо. А, можете сказать, что это? Это Т-64Б. Ага. Украинский танк. А, тоже украинский? Да. Ага. И э, как давно у вас э, это? Тоже год назад, это мы в марте месяце под Волноваха его забрали. А Волноваха. Да. So, это другой, это за, за Мариупол, да. это за Волноваха. Да, ага. да, да. Мы видим дырка там. Что это? За бой или что? Ну, попали мальца рядышком. Осколок пробил бак. А ага. так вроде бы ничего критического нету. Машина на ходу, экипаж целый. Ага. Все хорошо. Ну, как момент был, когда вас нашли это лаборатория? Это... Ну, как, у нас разведка работала. Ага. Наложила, где есть скопление техник, и куда будет работать артиллерия. И вот и самый целый экземпляр к нам достался. So, ну, когда нашли это, никто был... Не, 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 не а, никого это... не было. Это пустая машина была. Ага. Мы уже просто на троса оттянули, сами перебрали, все почистили, все покрасили. Вообще его название Мангу. Его так прозвала вооруженная сила Украины. Ага, понял. All right. Well, we've shown you two different uh, tanks here. There's uh, other uh, tanks that are uh, Russian tanks in the area. And as they said, uh, the commander said, we're, we're, they're waiting on orders uh, to get the word to go into tank battle. All right, it's been several hours since we met with the uh, tank crew. And uh, the orders finally came to the uh, tank crew the commander to start the uh, assault, tank assault on Ukrainian forces and Ukrainian military positions. So right now we're with the uh, commander headed to the firing positions of uh, at least one of the tanks in the group and uh, we're going to see how they launch on to uh, Ukrainian military positions and, and we're, right now we're going through a very muddy road in the middle of nowhere basically so hopefully we're gonna try to get a little uh, comment from the commander here on the road and uh, then we're going to uh, uh, see what the situation is on the firing position and uh, how the tanks fire on Ukrainian positions as I said we've got uh, strict uh, instructions on how to film no faces um, and, so, and they said uh, we're only gonna be there for a matter of minutes and it's a very dangerous situation uh, because At any time, there could be an answer. Ukrainian forces firing back on that position. So it's a very dangerous situation, but here we go. Можете сказать, что произошло сейчас? Где мы едем? Именно сказать не могу. Подвигаемся на огневую позицию. Было замечено перемещение пехот. Надо ее подавить.
right and uh, actually behind the tank. It went it up in uh, front of us, but we've got a GoPro on the thing so we can see what the status is of the tank itself on the road uh, here before we arrive to the front area. So, we are at the firing position. You just see the first shell going out. And uh, uh, right now, the tank battle has begun and uh, the Russian forces uh, tanks are assaulting Ukrainian forces. And we're here to show you what the real situation is on the ground. And we're gonna have a look at a few shots going out. We're not sure exactly how many there's gonna be, but then we're gonna go hopefully have a chat or just see some of the process with the commander. So now we're going to head back. We see some firing. It's, the firing is continuing. Um, we're not sure if there's going to be in incoming right now, but we're going to move a bit uh, farther back. Азимут 24. Типа готовности огонь. Up, hey, еще один. Давай еще один. All right, so we're uh, back to the location where the commander is correcting the firing. And we can hear them and see them doing it now. That's another shell going out. I'm just trying to cover as much of this process uh, safely as possible for you. Well, Принял, as safe ожидай. as we can get. Азимут, 24, по готовности огонь. So if you get a little bit of a different <laughs> angle of <laughs> firing. Time to go. So I don't know if they're expecting the incoming now or not. If so, how the result? The result is very positive. All the goals are destroyed. process of the tanks uh, firing uh, an assault on Ukrainian uh, positions. You see that uh, both uh, Russian tanks and captured Ukrainian tanks uh, are used uh, to uh, make these assaults on uh, the Ukrainian forces. We'll show you what we can here on the ground. It's time to wrap this up. I hope we get back all right, but uh, I hope we can uh, wrap this up right now but if anything else happens on the road if we're still close to the front line we'll let you know all right thanks patrick and thanks for the reporting there um and uh yeah i mean it, this is just another I had a discussion today um with a with a high level member of former u.s military he said this is when you you end this war now and i see so many people in the chat saying end this war now um, you're throwing these Ukrainians into the meat grinder, knowing that they're not going to win, knowing that they're just being destroyed, 
And that's exactly what NATO wants. And that's exactly what the UK and that's what the United States right. want. for this All people. it accomplishes is dragging out this war so that people become rich off of it. It's not really helping anybody's lives. Well, it's not thing. improving anybody's life in the Donbass. They'd like to be left alone now. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, there there is a peace rally scheduled this weekend in, I think, Minnesota or Minneapolis. I'm going to confirm that in a second. David, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, like that soldier said, like all they want them to do is like surrender and stop this. But it's but they're but Ukraine is being pushed by the United States and by Europe and everything to keep going and do this for what? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what is the end result? Right. Well, it's the total destruction of Ukraine. So you've literally lost. Mm -hmm. I've heard estimates today over 300,000 Ukrainian men just destroyed, gone over 300,000. So you've destroyed an entire NATO has destroyed an entire generation of Ukrainians. Um, that's what this is. And they know it and they continue to do it um, so that they can then buy up Ukraine. BlackRock can swoop in and buy up its land, take it over and own it. That's exactly what they want. They don't give a shit about the Ukrainian people. They don't care at all about the fleeing people, the young men who've been conscripted. They don't care about them at all. They're just being used as tools by NATO. That's exactly what's happening here. Make no mistake about it. Uh, the same way that, you know, this has happened in the Middle East when a country serves a purpose for the West um, and is dragged into war. That's what we're going to talk about next after the break. We're going to talk to uh, a journalist who's been covering these parallels between the wars in the Middle East and the war in Ukraine as a cautionary tale uh, and pointing out the rhetoric that continues to support this and uh, where we should reject it. James Richard in our chat says uh, I, he has the predator uh, I, icon or avatar like that. He says nobody fights knowing they'll lose. Nobody. Um, OK, then why? Then why are Ukrainian? Are they being lied to? We've seen multiple videos now where they've released, in fact, in the past, excuse me, in the past week where they're saying we have no weapons. Uh, we know we're being thrown into this meat grinder um, and push for peace. So what are they fighting for then? What exactly are they fighting for? Well, and the thing is, like we we've shown here that if they don't willingly go out there and to uh, like look like they're willingly going out there, they they dropped a grenade in a bunker of them that were refusing to go. Yeah, so or it's like shot in the back. They're, yeah. they're forced to go. Yeah. 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 So That's nobody fights thing. for knowing they'll lose. Nobody unless they're forced to fight, <laughs> which is exactly the case. So that's the answer, James, I guess. Yes. All right. We've got more news to get to here on this uh, Wednesday. Uh, we will talk about uh, will Ukraine become the next I Israel or the next Middle East? Um, and also we got this ABC hot mic moment about COVID. We're going to talk about that. Plus, we're going up to Canada to cover the LGBTQ plus nine, seven, five, seven, seven, uh, whatever it's called now um, up in Canada and the agenda. And there is a big pushback from the Muslim population and Christians now taking to protest in Canada about this agenda. Uh, we'll get there in a second. Thank you so much for watching this segment here at Redacted. We are live every day at 4 p.m. Eastern time trying to share the stories that the mainstream media will not cover. You should also come over and join our community of Redacted Rebels over at redacted.inc. That's our private locals community where we can share exclusive content that we simply cannot share here on YouTube. Come over and join the rebellion together right now by going to redacted.inc. We'll see you next time.